Go ahead, just uh, start with your title and name. I'm Cass Holloway, Commissioner for the New York City Department of Environmental Protection. And if you could just outline the uh, goal of the Green Infrastructure Plan. Sure. The, the Green Infrastructure Plan is designed to help New York City deal with a problem that a lot of cities, and particularly older cities in the United States, face, and that's uh, combined sewer overflows. And combined sewer overflows are, are a problem that uh, arises when you have infrastructure that is designed to carry both sanitary storm flow and storm flow, uh, sanitary flow and storm flow. And obviously uh, when it rains, um, that infrastructure can become overwhelmed and then so that you have safety valves on the system to protect the wastewater treatment process, uh, you end up with discharges into surrounding waterways of combined sewer overflow. So there are two ways to deal with this. There's basically after the water has entered your sewer system and become a potential problem, or beforehand. Green infrastructure uh, looks to really change the paradigm from dealing with uh, end-of-pipe solutions like tanks and tunnels that capture and hold CSO and then pump it for treatment after a storm has passed, to capturing water at the source uh, so that it never enters the system in the first place, which is where New York City and other cities like Philadelphia uh, really want to move to for a couple of reasons, uh, which we can get into. Yes, can, can you uh, outline some of the benefits of the uh, green infrastructure plan? Well, the primary benefit is for water quality, and that is the goal that is driving um, all of our, our planning, uh, where we would put green infrastructure, how much of it, and in what parts of the city, because it's not appropriate everywhere. Um, so water quality is, is the first goal, and the way you improve water quality is if you're capturing storm water at the source, it doesn't go into your system. Uh, that reduces combined sewer overflows, which means that your water quality overall doesn't get impaired when it rains, um, and, and that's what the outcome that we want. Now, in addition, green infrastructure can do a lot more. Uh, there are many what we call sustainability co-benefits of green infrastructure that range from uh, improving air quality, because you have uh, trees and, and other greenery on green infrastructure, more open space for people to, uh, to use in the city, lower energy bills because of the, and New York City in particular, the island cool heating effect, the cooling effect that would, can come from uh, putting green infrastructure in place on a, on a massive scale, which would be required to do it appropriately, uh, effectively in New York City. Um, and then it actually can increase property values. Uh, and have benefits like that. So, so these are benefits that come in addition to the water quality benefits that you get with green infrastructure. And uh, I think Mayor Bloomberg's view, and, and my view, is that if we can achieve more than one great outcome with each dollar that we spend uh, to try to improve water quality, that's where we should be making these investments. Because with gray infrastructure, uh, even if a tunnel is effective, it's only effective when it rains and it increases uh, greenhouse gas emissions and power consumption because you have to pump that water to a treatment station after it gets captured. So uh, really green infrastructure is the more sustainable and over the long term uh, uh, the better way to go. What are the next steps for uh, the city in, uh, in terms of Im implementing the, the plan? Well, uh, as a tactical matter, what we need to ensure that the plan is going to be implemented fully implemented in New York City is the approval of our state regulator, that's the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, and and ultimately the Environmental Protection Agency, which uh, Administrator Jackson has talked about green infrastructure all over the country. They have established a green infrastructure task force that Nancy Stoner is leading. Uh, I've presented that task force, which is great. Um, we hope that they're ultimately going to um, work closely with cities like New York uh, to uh, help us to get the approvals that we need to implement, uh, to put green infrastructure into um, uh, the orders that many of our city, these cities like New York are facing to deal with combined sewer overflows so that it becomes uh, an official part of how we're dealing with the problem and we get the credit that we need uh, from the regulators in terms of water quality benefits attained. So we need that approval. Now, we're not waiting. You know, Mayor Bloomberg uh, does not take the position that we're going to wait for an approval to do something that is the right thing and a good idea anyway. So we have already formed a green infrastructure task force of all the city's infrastructure agencies. We've uh, started a, a $3 million grant program for uh, 
private not-for-profit groups and other organizations to put in proposals to tell us green infrastructure that they think uh, could be useful and we'll try to help them fund and get that built. We have uh, appointed a, an assistant commissioner for green infrastructure who's already uh, has a list of uh, 400 projects that we're looking at as potential places to implement this uh, because we know we have to put some major pilots in place in addition to what we've already done to test out this technology and make sure uh, that it works in specific areas. And for that to succeed, we're going to need flexibility again from our regulators uh, to work with us uh, and go through some of the trial and error that's inevitably going to be necessary um, for green infrastructure to work on a large scale. So we have a long way to go, but we're really pursuing on a parallel path. We're uh, in discussions with the state and the, and the federal government, and they've uh, indicated a strong support for and willingness to work with us on this. Uh, but at the same time, we're acting. We are designing and we're going to be putting into the ground more green infrastructure installations, putting in place the tracking that we need, and, uh, and doing what we need to do to prove that this can work so we can implement it on a uh, large scale. Great. Thank you.